Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'm going to be going over the new features of the DeWalt 20 Volt Max XR Brushless Half Inch Drill Driver, known as DCD 800, and the 20 Volt Max XR Brushless Half Inch Hammer Drill Driver, DCD 805. I received both of these from DeWalt. They did not include the battery. These are just the bare tools only. Whenever there's a new product launched, it seems like the category people care about the most is power. They want to know why is this an improvement over what we already have? Why should they spend their money on it? What bigger bang for their buck are they going to get? So with the new 800 and the 805, it does provide up to 40% more unit watts out. For the 800, they've compared it with the DCD 791. And that would be either with the battery DCB205 or with a power stack battery, which is DCB P034. So for the 805, they've compared that with model DCD796 with a DCB205 battery or the power stack, which is DCB P034. So they do both provide more power than previous models, which is always a good thing. Now, I actually have older models that are several years past. I know that there have been advancements in between what I own and what I have here in front of me that DeWalt just sent. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be showing you what I have. So I'm always impressed with DeWalt with everything that comes out. It always seems to be more ergonomic, smaller, more compact, lighter, better performing. So I do think that they are listening to the customers and tailoring to our needs. Right away, one of the best features is that it's more compact. It's a half inch shorter than previous models. This is a lot bulkier. You can, this one especially, that one is a, is a noticeable difference, but this one is a lot. And it just, this feels like better balanced in my hand too. What you see demonstrated here is not what is indicative in the press release because they talk about it being a half inch shorter. So I'm going to say that that's closer to an inch shorter from um, if you have older models than what they're talking about in the press release, then it's going to be even more significant. That actually looks to be about an inch shorter too. So they are definitely more compact and uh, more powerful. When you're up working in like, you know, in areas like this up in the ceiling, um, when I made my workbench, I was up trying to scramble in there. Getting behind that was a real bear. Um, and my drill was just a little bit, I had to attach um, hooks up there for the lighting. And it was really hard to get in behind that ductwork right there. So um, I would have appreciated a much smaller model, which I now have. So that would have been great about a week ago, but I have it now. So going forward, it'll save me a lot of aggravation. Each model has a three mode LED light that can produce up to 70 lumens. And you can see how bright that is. And then also, if you wanna direct that, you know, if you're working up in the ceiling, you're working straight, you're working down on the ground, you can direct, this is directional, you can put it whichever way, and you can either set it to off. In the middle is the timed light. Here's what I think is really cool too, because I know sometimes my light will shut off before I'm done working. So you can actually set this to 20 minutes and it shines the brightest. And that is that setting right there. And then two minutes before it's set to go off, it'll start to flash and dim. And that's your signal if you wanna keep using it to go ahead and hit the trigger again and it'll go for another 20 minutes. I really like that. Okay, so here's a close up shot of the lights and the difference. I don't know if the camera picks this up. Um, as you can tell in, in, in person, this definitely has more lumens that are shining out versus this one. And again, this is not adjustable. The lights on the older features, they don't look as bright. And it looks like the settings though had uh, like a low, high, and then that mine actually did have a 20 minute setting and I just was unaware of it. I never put it on that. I always kept it in that mode, but it looks like it does have that setting as well. I do like that this is adjustable. So in, in the model that I have, the lights are actually um, underneath, but you can just see how significantly smaller this is. Some of the similarities to the past models, it does have a high speed transmission with a variable trigger. They are still a brushless motor. They both have the high bit retention feature with metal ratcheting chucks. 
as well as two speed settings at the top. My old hammer drill actually has three speeds on it where the new one only has two. The drill driver delivers up to 2000 RPM in second speed when drilling into construction material. And the hammer drill delivers up to 34,000 BPM through the hammer mode function when you're drilling into masonry material. Another similarity to past models is that it does have a lot of this rubbery type protective coating around it. I don't typically, because I'm afraid of heights, I don't often work up on ladders. Sometimes I do, but I know that even just working in my workshop, I've accidentally with my elbow bumped them and they've taken some falls. And um, I appreciate that they continue to use this nice coating. It actually seems like there's is there more of it? Um, maybe, you know what, a little bit more. Do you see the base here? It actually looks like there's a little bit more of that um, on the bases now, which I really appreciate that because when they fall or tip over, it just gives it like that much more protection where if this falls over, the battery is probably going to take the brunt of the fall. Um, where this, it looks like that probably is a higher point and that'll hit first. And you can see the difference between, from this angle, the size of the power stack versus older generations. A lot of the features are still the same. They kept what was really good. And then they just somehow found a way to improve on it even more. You know what? And look at this too, this, this coating I'm talking about. Um, it seems to extend a little bit further out which would mean if your drill gets bumped over, it's going to hit that high point. I really like that. They didn't include that in the press release. I'm just kind of noticing that on my own. And maybe they included that in, in prior things before I was included and made privy to this kind of stuff. But I do, you know, that's, that's like a real working condition type of thing. So as far as accessories, it does come with a belt clip for both the drill driver and the hammer drill. Here's where your clip would attach. And if you had like a bit holder attachment, we'd go there. And then the tool connect, I don't have any of the tool connects, but it would go in, I, I'm assuming you'd open that and put the tool connect chip in there. So this is strictly just an unboxing and unveiling type video. You will see these tools in use though in future videos. But if there's anything I forgot to cover, please leave it for me in the comments. So these will be available by themselves and in kits sometime in April. If you're interested in purchasing these tools when they're available, I will include shopping links in the bio. I'm an affiliate for Amazon Ace and Acme tools. I don't know what the cost is yet, but I will try to include that in the bio as well. So I hope this was helpful. I thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.